to Hobby Craft yesterday and Staples and I thought I'd like to share with you what I bought. So here goes. Um, first things first, from Staples, I've been wanting one for these for ages. It is a Derwent uh, battery eraser. Uh, I'll just show you this. I have tested it. Um, basically, you get several refills for the rubber. Um, the rubber is super easy to get out. Let's focus. Oh, maybe not. There you go. Um, you pull out this metal part here and you just slide your rubber in. So I'm going to do you a demonstration of how well it works. It's absolutely amazing. Such a good buy. I would recommend these if you wanted something. I'll just put batteries in it. Won't be a second. Easy to put batteries in. Just slide this. And then you get your. Easy as that. Okay, I'll do a couple of grades of pencil just to show you. A couple of grades. I'll do a 3B and a HB. So start off light. Now, I know I have tested this already. So HB is quite scratchy. So, okay. So, you just press it and it will So that's the 3B and that's the HB. It rubs it out so well. Perfect. So that is my Derwent battery eraser. That cost me from Staples £3.59, which was a lot cheaper than Hobbycraft. So if you're in the UK, that's probably the best place to get one from. So, all of that. Um, so I always use this covered in gesso, white paint to make it easy to paint on, everything like that. So I decided to get a linen canvas board. Uh, I haven't taken the wrapper off, but I just thought something different and I've heard a lot of good things about these so this cost me £2.25 uh, this is always student discount so it's usually £2.50 that's from Hobbycraft as well um, third thing I, I don't know about anyone else but I constantly wreck bowls I make mess of them I always have to chuck them away afterwards because I get paint on them forget to wash them and there's always acrylic stuck on them everywhere so I saw one of these it's a Faber Castell foldable water pot now I've never seen one of these before never seen anyone else use them before but they look awesome so you can either have a small small pot like this and fill this with water or you can pop this out like that and it creates a much larger water pot and water is just easy in there and it holds the water really well and I can't wait to try that and do some painting so, uh, fourthly, oh, this cost me, 
How much does this cost? Um, uh, £2.50 it cost, which I think is awesome. I'm going to get a lot of use out of that. Uh, also, I've been doing a lot of painting recently and my paintbrushes are limited. I have these ones at the ends are from GCSE time and they're absolutely terrible. It's so logged with paint and everything so I use these for a lot of stippling and I wanted some fresh ones. A while ago I bought these, they're still fine but I wanted some really big ones and some really fine ones because these are just middles at the moment. So I got this pack of seven uh, Taclon Artist set. It's just a cheap set. I didn't want to spend too much money. Um, there are a couple of sizes in here, a couple of different types and shapes of brushes. Uh, this cost me. This cost. Oh, uh, two pounds twenty-five. Uh, which I think is pretty cheap and. These are the sizes you've got. Let's just wet this. Um, so, first brush is this one. Uh, a flat, flat brush. Uh, then you've got a nice round, quite a small one. And then Filbert, Filbert, uh, a bit bigger Filbert, and then three smaller rounds, which are perfect. Excited to use those. So yeah, again, they were just two pounds twenty-five, so cheap as chips. Next, uh, I'll probably go for these since we're on paintbrushes, is this 12 set of nylon brushes. Um, these are the Hobbycraft own, but I thought for large, large paintings they would be perfect. Come in this really nice wrap, linen wrap, and they're massive, but you got a couple of small ones, but the actual brush is huge. You get a couple of small round flats. It alternates from round and flat uh, until you get to these big, and they are soft as hell. Kind of excited to use those. Um, but yeah, you got you got two twelves. Uh, two tens, I'm assuming two nines, uh, no, two eights, sorry, a six, two, three fours, and two twos. So, got those. They were just, they're a fiver. I got them for 50 with my student discount, but I think they're really worth it for the amount you get. And also the size, and they feel they feel okay. The nylon, they probably won't last for ages, but what brushes do, especially with my painting. So, yeah, those. Um, two more things. I, I'm not a big stamper. I make cards every so often. I do things. I'm looking at doing FIMO stamping and I thought this bike was super super cute it looks it's good so yeah it's a clear stamp Hobbycraft own um, this I'm pretty sure this was just a pound uh, do, do. yeah pound. pound so cheap but I'm sure it'll come in handy with something then 
last but not least I've been wanting to get one of these for absolutely ages and saw them they weren't expensive this was just two pounds so and it's not your usual one I thought I'd go for something different but it's just a palette knife Hobbycraft own again it's number 17 it is what size is this two and three quarters flat I didn't get the round tip I just got a flat tip because I thought I could do backgrounds and fine detail with this so yeah I just thought and I love the super cute wooden handle all professional looking Um, so got to try some stuff out with this and hopefully make a video so yep that was my haul from Hobbycraft and Staples hope you enjoy this video please give it a like subscribe and please comment if you'd like to see more of these videos Thank you. Bye.